What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how I create my watch lists on Think or Swim. We're going to go over, you know, all my watch lists, what stocks are in each watch list, and you know, how I categorize my personal watch lists on my Think or Swim platform. And if you're a complete beginner, I'm going to show you guys how to create a watch list, you know, how to name a watch list, and then how to delete a watch list if you no longer longer want that watch list on your platform. But before we do get into this video, for all you new viewers out there, my name is Stas and I make videos dealing with swing trading, day trading, long-term investing, and my personal philosophies and strategies when it comes down to investing and trading in the stock market. So for those of you guys that want to learn more about that, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram as well as on Twitter, and join our Discord group chat as well as our Facebook group. All of those are linked down below in the description box. And let's get started with today's video. So, you know, what a watch list really is, it's just a group of stocks that you're watching, right? It's very, very simple. In my personal opinion and the way that I use watch lists, I just use them to categorize, you know, stocks based on what sector they're in, you know, whether they're penny stocks, long-term investments, and they're just groups of stocks that I just personally keep an eye on on a day-to-day -day basis. And I like to just keep up with in terms of their technicals and in terms of, you know, their news. Because for those of you guys that don't know, on Think or Swim, you know, there's this live news tab right here. It may not be as good as, you know, some other websites that do live news, but, you know, it's pretty useful if you guys do, you know, use this platform a lot. You can just click live news on any of the stocks that you're following and uh, you can see pretty much what's been going on with that stock. And, you know, this might not be too good of an example, but if we go here to, uh, you know, Apple, we can see live news, you know, all important stuff or just things that are just going on with the company, you know, in this tab right here. But, you know, before we do, you know, get carried away with that, uh, let's talk about my personal watch lists and how I categorize them and set them up. So, you know, you can see here this first watch list that I do have is my active watch list. And, you know, this is one that I'm updating on a day to day basis. And, you know, these are the stocks that I'm typically trading every single week, or I want to keep a very, very close eye on on a day to day basis, because some of these are actually in my longer term portfolio as well. So we can see here active watch list for those of you guys that have been following me for a while, you know, you know, Apple and Facebook are two of my bigger positions in my uh, stock market portfolio. And, you know, these are some other ETFs that I'm trading on a day-to-day -day basis as well. You know, you know, UGAS and DGAS are two that I trade a lot and I'm always following their technicals. You know, TVIX, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this. I trade this one pretty much almost every single day. And, uh, you know, I love keeping an eye on it because since the market has been extremely volatile, these inverse ETFs that you see here, obviously the large caps and, uh, you know, these market ETFs like TVIX, VIX and TQQQ have been extremely, extremely volatile. So actively keeping an eye on these, you know, adding new stocks to this is something that I'm always doing on a day to day basis, whether that be during the market, right during market open or at night when I'm doing my analysis on different stocks and ETFs for the next day or even pre market hours. So before I do talk about some of these other watch lists, uh, let's see, you know, let me show you guys how you can create a watch list, how you can name a watch list, how you can add tickers to that watch list, and how you can uh, delete that watch list if you no longer want it. So very simple here, guys. All you have to do is go here and click on this button next to the word watch list. So, you know, first of all, guys, you know, you do have to set this up. So it is showing your watch lists here on the side panel. And you can just do that pretty much by clicking this plus sign here. And uh, we should say watch list here, then you click watch list, and then it's going to add watch lists one by one by one. And uh, you just got to keep doing that. So you can show however many watch lists you want on this side panel. So once you do that, and let's say you do have these four 
watch lists here showing or you have one because you haven't even created one yet because I think the index is one's automatically on here when you do uh, or get this platform but you know to add one you pretty much do you can click this uh, you know the button next to watch list then you do create watch list and then when you do create watch list obviously you name it whatever if it's penny stocks you would do penny stocks right if it's inverse ETFs you would do inverse ETF stuff like that right but for this sense you know this case we're just going to call this one example and then you can just go here to the ticker right symbol then you can do you know you can start adding whatever tickers you guys want you can do Apple Google you know Disney we can do AT&T we can do Facebook you know we can do Wells Fargo right you know you can do whatever tickers you guys want and obviously you can create as many of these as you want and you can just funnel through them and I'm going to show you that in, in a second as well but then once you do that you create save you click save and then boom here's your watch list right here and obviously you can add more tickers to your watch list uh, not Disney that's obviously already there but you know let's say you want to add more you can do that very easily as well and you know if you want to do if you do want to delete this very simple you click that same uh, you know button next to watch list you click delete where you hover over delete you come over here and you delete the one that you don't want and in this case I'm gonna delete examples so now that we saw that let's just go very quickly through my other watch list and how I do pick the stocks that do uh, go into those watch lists so you know again like I mentioned in the beginning of this video I like categorizing my watch lists and sifting through them on a day-to-day -day basis because again this is just a way to categorize your stocks and the ones that you like to focus on and the ones that you trade a lot you know I'm not one of those guys if you guys have been following me for a while now I'm not one of those traders that continuously goes out and tries to find new stocks you know a lot of people do do that you know it's all preference but I'm here on this YouTube channel documenting my personal philosophies and strategies and my journey and the way that I do it guys you know again for those of you guys that have been following me you know this I, I just stick to a couple of stocks and ETFs that work for me and that I consistently profit on and you know that's what I've been doing over the past couple of years that I've been trading and it's been proven to me uh, that it's been successful right and that's why I'm sticking to it because why fix something that's already working consistently for you so um, let's just take a look now at my other watch list so to see the other watch list very simple you come here at that same button next to watch lists and then you go to uh, where is it personal right you go to personal up here you go over and then you see all the other watch lists that you've created and in this case you see the ones I have so you know I have one for my active watch list you know I have one for banking stocks these are banking stocks that I love to keep an eye on because I'm interested in investing in more banking stocks and I like just keeping an eye on the top ones and we can see those here you know Bank of America Wells Fargo JP Morgan is actually one I'm interested in potentially putting money in and uh, Goldman Sachs but again with the volatility in the markets I'm being very patient with adding money and I do have cash set aside you know to, to pick up shares at cheaper valuations as we continue to get you know closer to a bear market so banking stocks very simple guys you know I'm just picking the ones that have uh, the strongest long-term uh, potential in my personal opinion and you know I'm just continuously keeping an eye on those and we can see some other ones here you know, obviously the indexes, dividend ETFs, these are one that I want to keep an eye on for the next, uh, you know, the next big market sell-off. We're already in a market sell-off, but the deeper we get into these, uh, you know, this sell-off, I want to be adding money into dividend yield ETFs. And if those you, for those of you guys that don't know what those are, they're pretty much just a basket of stocks that pay dividends, very strong dividend paying stocks that are all in one ETF and you get get to you know you get the advantage of getting dividends from all of these different companies I think you know obviously the rates vary you know one of these could be 1.5 percent per year uh, in dividends one of them could be three percent I forget which one is what but I do have a video on dividend yield ETFs for those of you guys that want to uh, you know learn more about those and see which basket of stocks are included in them and all you have to do guys is type in dividend yield ETFs and write my name next to that and the video should pop up 
and uh, in the search engine. So these are the dividend yield ETFs that I'm keeping an eye on. And again, I'm just constantly watching these because I want to build a strong dividend portfolio next to my long term portfolio, as well as you know, my uh, swing trading and day trading portfolios. So um, dividend yield ETFs, you know, indexes, obviously, I'm keeping an eye on the major markets, we talk about these all the time, you know, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and you know, the Dow Jones, we have all of those here, you know, we have you know, the SPY, which is an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. We have the VIX volatility index here. You know, we have Stash ES, the E Mini S and P 500 indexes. So, you know, all of these different indexes that really just give us the, uh, you know, the understanding of where the overall markets are moving. Are we bullish? Are we bearish? Are we forming a, you know, wedge formation? Are we, uh, you know, making lower highs, downtrending, uptrending, you know, very important to understand where the markets are pushing. And that's why I always have these. And you know, I'm watching these every single day, guys, because I talk about them in every single trading slash market update that I make on a day to day basis. So now to get into, you know, some other uh, watch lists that I do have here, I have one for long term investments, right? These are more dividend paying stocks, longer term value stocks that I'm am following, you know, some of these are already in my long term portfolio but you know apple again i'm in that one with a bigger position at&t is one that pays a very solid dividend of about six percent you know wells fargo is a banking stock that i'm interested in potentially getting in you know monster is one that i was thinking about getting in but it's gotten slaughtered so you know a buying opportunity could be there now you know i'm potentially you know looking to take a position in cgc as a spec stock if it does get to the bright price point but as of now you know i haven't and pulled the trigger on that one quite yet. Uh, FedEx, I'm not really interested in adding more, uh, adding any more money, actually any money, because I don't actually have a position in FedEx at this point. So I'm going to take that one out. But you know, McDonald's and Pepsi, Walmart, Disney, J and J, these are all very big brands that I do want to get uh, some wealth, uh, you know, some money that I do have in cash into these companies. But I'm just waiting for the right time because I do want to build a diversified portfolio that has has some value that has some growth and that has dividends and obviously you know obviously foreign stocks i'm already in a foreign stock right now alibaba chinese company and you know i'm just really looking to diversify my portfolio over these next couple of years and keeping an eye on these is always a good idea uh, and that's why i do have them in my watch list but i don't want to carry this video on too much you know some other ones i have here some penny stocks. I have this one right here. That's I think I think this one's linked up to my uh, what's it called my scanner, and this one's pulling in some penny stocks for me. I don't really trade penny stocks, but this scanner is bringing in ones that are showing bullish potential, and we can see based on these charts, guys, all of them have made some pretty solid moves over the past couple of weeks. And you know, just keeping an eye on these does not really offer uh, you know any disadvantages. But you know, if I'm am able to catch a move, you know, pre-market hours in one of these big, you know, high volume penny stocks that could make me a very solid amount of money. But again, for all you guys that have been following me, this is not my style. I'm more conservative. I like locking in two, three, four, five percent, uh, you know, profits and uh, just calling it a day. But you know, in these, you could catch a 30, 40, 50 percent move. You know, who knows? And it's all about just watching them pre-market hours. Is there a ton of volume? Because that would indicate maybe it can run in the beginning of the market and that's what a bunch of these honestly do you know you can see some of these for example well not really this one right here but uh this one eh, this one had a decent day six percent we can see some of these run up very quickly right we can see here this one's literally ran up 30 40 percent in a matter of two three days and you know if you're able to catch one of those you know that would be a very good move for you but it all depends again on your risk tolerance and i do have another penny stock watch list and uh these two down here are my tech stocks watch list and then my weed stocks you know I always have these up during my videos most of the videos but you know this one has Enbev this is a I think it's a CBD beverage company you know Kronos very big move in Kronos this past a uh, couple weeks ago when Altria bought in 45% uh, of that company I believe for about two billion dollars or something like that so these are all you know marijuana stocks that have a ton of volume volatility over the past couple of months and I'm always watching these to potentially catch the moves because if they have big moves guys 
they move pretty heavily, uh, you know, either in the up in the upside or the downside, right? We've seen them lose 20% in a day, 15%. We've also seen them run 15, 20%. And they're always just worth keeping an eye on on a day-to-day basis, in my personal opinion. And that is why I do have a watch list for them. And obviously the tech stocks we can see down here, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, Microsoft. These are some of the biggest companies in the world. And I always like keeping not an eye on these because when the markets are doing poorly, you know, these are getting crushed as well. And, uh, you know, I am I am an investor in Apple and Facebook, like I said, and just keeping an eye of the, the biggest companies, some of the biggest companies by market capitalization is always a good idea when markets are in volatility stages like we are right now, when markets are selling off, and even when markets are doing well in, in, in you know, the middle of a bull run like we have been over the past couple of weeks, uh, not weeks, uh, years, um, you know, it's always worth keeping an eye on these. So, you know, another one, inverse ETFs here, guys. Obviously, these are ones that I'm trading on a day-to-day -day basis. I always have these watch lists up, uh, this one especially when I'm trading during the day because these are the ones that I'm always hopping in and out of and I'm always just keeping an eye on to see if I can catch any particular moves in them. So I'm going to wrap up this video right now. You know, the gist of this video, guys, is to create watch lists of stocks that you're actively trading and stocks that you always do your technical analysis on and stocks that you want to keep an eye on for the future, either for a potential investment or a potential trade. And, you know, breaking them down like this makes them very easily accessible, right? It makes them very easy to understand and it has them categorized, right? It's just very organized and very neat and it, it makes the trading experience much easier. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. What are your watch lists set up like? are mine a little bit too basic, uh, you know, or yours uh, very similar to mine, I would love to know because, you know, I just love interacting with all of you guys on a day-to-day -day basis. So drop a comment down below, leave a like, you know, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for all of the support and thanks for taking some time today to watch this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.